Welcome to the sixth installment of Floorboards ASMR. Knock your socks off, radio. I appreciate all my listeners here, and I wish you would subscribe. However, again, we're just trying to fall asleep. We really don't need to be bothered by all that nonsense. Here we go. Norm stumbled past me to the side of the sinkhole where a ledge was carved out. The berth expanse was nearly 40 feet in diameter its depth unfathomable. Smoke was seeping from the fissure. It was the shock of what had transpired, but it looked as though Norm had just dropped something into the hole. Norm glanced at me with his usual pensive look. I strained. To get the words out. What are you doing? We have to get help, get a rope, or shit, call somebody. He ignored me. The sullen feeling thickened. That was when I looked over the edge. There were bodies in the bottom of the hole. There was no rescue. Not even a recovery. It was far too dangerous. Norm pulled out his flask and had a drink. We stumbled away from the scene to collect our thoughts. A bell rang out. What is that? My hands began to sweat. Be calm. You'd best stay with me, Norm retorted, as thundering plows echoed beside us. I followed Norm, like blind sheep scrambling through the crowds that had now begun to crow and clog like arteries. The group masses huddled around televisions set in storefronts as if they were under mass hypnosis. We arrived at Norm's building. His flat in center square is constructed from crumbling moss with covered stone. The amber stained glass obstructions, a view in the back of a dusty bookshelf Fumbling with keys, Norm stated nervously, We had better be quiet inside. Nothing here makes sense. Even the words here don't make sense. As the door started to creak, he seemed to miraculously obtain an oil can, and he quieted the door before it could close. Norm clicked on as if the only technology available was available to him. It was actually an upgrade for Norm. It was an AM, FM radio, built into a wind-up, power-up turntable. This seemed like some sort of new-age thing that I had not seen before. I frantically tried to find news of what was happening. The latest reports say these sinkholes are sporadic and to stay indoors until further notice. And there may be notices about unused words. We looked at each other and laughed. So Norm, you don't have electricity here? No. Help me light these candles, Norm snapped. So what the hell is going on? 
What are these sinkholes everywhere? And why is everybody reek of sulfur in here?